The most famous winter hunting technique in the arsenal of the fox is the mousing leap. A fox moves slowly and silently, listening intently until it detects the sound of a mouse. Then it suddenly launches into the air, landing directly on its unlucky target. Foxes are so good at this missile-like maneuver that they can even locate and catch their prey when it moves under more than three feet of snow. Researchers believe that the fox can see the Earth's magnetic field as a ring of shadow on its eyes that darkens as it points its head towards magnetic north. When the shadow and the sound the prey is making line up, it's time to pounce. Although domesticated foxes are very rare, they do exist. They are a product of an incredible Soviet experiment. In the 1950s, Soviet scientists wanted to study how wolves turned into dogs. They tried to replicate that evolution with foxes by selecting only the least aggressive foxes for mating. After just a few generations, they observed that these natural hunters became less fearful of humans and eventually they started to show affection. This research mission is still functional in Siberia and in fact, it's the only place in the world where one can get domesticated foxes. They are expensive, roughly $8,000 US and quite different from your average pet dog. But they do learn tricks and commands and are said to make very nice pets. Even though finnick foxes are nocturnal, spending daylight within their dens and becoming more active at night when temperatures are cooler, their feet are heavily furred, protecting the pads from the hot desert sand. The fennec fox is the smallest member of the dog family. They range in size from 1.76 pounds in females to 3.3 pounds in males and stand only 8 inches tall. Don't let the dainty size fool you though. This little fox can jump 2 feet high and 4 feet forward when springing into action to catch prey or evade a predator. They are tough to catch, which means they have few predators. One noticeable characteristic of the finnick fox is its oversized ears, which are around 6 inches long. The foxes tilt their heads from side to side while triangulating sound so they can pinpoint the exact location of tasty treats. The ears also serve as a way to dissipate heat and keep cool in the desert heat. Finnicks are so well adapted for desert life that they do not need to drink. Instead, finnick foxes gain much of their water from the leaves, roots, fruits, eggs, and animal prey that they find to eat. In harsh conditions, they lap up condensation that collects in their dens. Foxes can identify each other's voices, just like humans. The red fox has 28 different sounds they use to communicate. These vocalizations include yips, growls, and howls. Like a cat's, the fox's thick tail aids its balance but it has other uses as well. A fox uses its tail or brush as a warm cover in cold weather and as a signal flag to communicate with other foxes. <laughs>